be lagging. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and ghouls, ghosts and goblins. My name is Sean Gorey, and I'll spare you the gory details. I'm dead excited to be here live with you all again this evening, where we'll be playing some more Subnautica. Um, we got some stuff done yesterday when we played. We were looking for some rare materials. We didn't find them. We're also looking for some more components, so we're just gonna keep exploring, and that's kind of what half the fun of this game is, right, is the exploration. We also pimped out our our base, we made a really sweet bedroom, so we can sleep now, so like if it's dark, I'll go to bed, which would be nice. Uh, before we go any further, you might notice this blue donation bar here. I'm not pointing right to it. There it is, right there. It's a little progress tracker for this thing called Extra Life. For those of you who don't know, Extra Life is an absolutely free gaming marathon that's a charity fundraiser for sick and injured kids in the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. You get to play games for a whole day, and the money you raise goes directly to benefiting local kids in need in your neighborhood or Ch Children's Miracle Network Hospital of choice. It's been going on for the past 12 years. I've been participating in the last 10 years. The event as a whole raised over $70 million for the kids over the last 12 years, 10 grand of which I raised lifetime. I think that was lifetime. Either way, we, we raised a whole bunch of money for some sick kids in need, and all we did was just doing what we're doing right now. So if you want to find out more information on how you could play some games and be a hero for some kids, just click that link that Pumpkin Jack put in the chat, or go to extra-life.org to find out more. Um, I'm going to put the cans on here, and we'll get right into the gameplay. Holy smokes, the transition actually worked just now. Hmm, okay. Oh, uh, where... What's up? Welcome to the stream, Hitchhiker Rob. So, I did see that in theory, you can feed Reapers peepers. Um, and I guess they need a few. And they won't, like, be your pet, but they'll just, like, sort of ignore you for a little bit. I'm really scared to do that, though, because I feel like if I even just am exposed to a reaper, he'll just swallow me whole. So he'll get me and a peeper. So, uh, yeah, that's 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 making me real nervous here. Um, I'm trying to think. I know our whole integrity is at zero. What's our inventory look like? <laughs> do it. Hey, did you do it, man? I've got these power cells on. I'll tell you what, we'll take the power cells and we'll... Is the prawn suit dead? If it's that far away, the prawn suit's dead. We'll um, fill up the prawn suit and then we're gonna go looking for some stuff. Do I have medical kits? Yes, I do. Lone Wolf, welcome to the stream, buddy. Was that Rick's face painted on your wall? Um, There is stuff on my walls. I got a Keep Calm poster. I got a teddy bear thing. Oh, I've also got this poster. Natural Selection. It looks like a movie poster. Or a game poster. I'm not sure. Um, and then you might have seen the Aurora poster, but I didn't see Rick's face. Unless you thought that was Markiplier. <laughs> Alright, so we have a health kit and we have food and water. When you went on by fast and if you thought it was Rick, that would have been hilarious. Let's load up on a little bit. My knife is giving off bubbles. Like it thinks I'm underwater. It's a cool effect, but we're not underwater. Let's fill up real quick on some foodies. We'll get one more. There we go. Eat, eat, eat. Plant, okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. And let's go give that broken prawn suit some um, power cells. It's not broken, it's just dead in the water, literally. I was straight north. 
I must have been trying to like work my way back here. Doesn't seem like me to just go straight north. We're cruising right along. We'll be there in no time. This thing's uh, already at 66% battery, so in theory, next time I go back, I can swap it out with one that's got some more juice in it. But this will be just fine for now. Hey, friendo. Oh, and it's broken, apparently. Or damaged. Oops. No power source. Let's put you in. Let's put you in. Do I have goodies in here? We do have goodies. Okay. We'll take them. So let's get back to the base for a moment. Um, Left to the prawn suit, and then there were a couple directions I wanted to head in. We are looking for all kinds of goodies, of course. Ooh, is this limestone? I'm looking for sandstone, because we need lead, like, whoa. Ooh, maybe I can tell the scanner room to look for, look for sandstone, since um, it doesn't really do any good because I don't have that UI chip. Boo. Have you seen the sea treaders yet? The three-legged beasts. So, Rob, it's funny you say that. Rachel and I concluded the game um, over the weekend. We hadn't seen the sea treaders, but sure enough, for my first time yesterday, I was just exploring, looking for magnetite, and whoa, it was like perfectly square holes. Oh, there must have been something here I deleted. Oops. Um, but so they're perfectly square. I was exploring, looking for magnetite, and I saw sea treaders, and sure enough, they walk around and poop a whole bunch. I actually picked up some of their 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 feces. It's currently sitting in my inventory. I guess it's good fuel for the uh, nuclear reactor or the biomatter reactor. I'm not planning on collecting and harvesting poo nonstop or feeding it fish nonstop, so I'm not gonna build that. I have this enormous thermal right here. You know, like there's no there's no need for that. The board, okay, here's the poop, right? There it is. Alien feces. Um, let's get that stuff out of the prawn suit's tank. There we go. And uh, we're going to put... We got... Mm, wrong one. We got lots of gold, apparently. A little bit of copper. We got plenty of quartz now. Actually, not plenty, but a bit. Ooh, and um, this is... Lithium? Yes. We need lead like whoa. Well, let's set the... Ah, the scanner room wouldn't do me good unless I put the camera there. Son of a gun. We'll look for Rex real quick. So it's already detected one. What are the odds our little camera has discovered it already? Hey, okay, come on. Boy, this thing turns all types of Katie Wampus. So like even if like you collect the goodies from the wreck, I don't know if it like actually updates the scanner room, if that makes any sense. It looks like we've already been here. Yes, we have already been here. That is okay. That didn't cost the same thing to go check. Ooh, second wreck, third wreck. Okay. We'll check all three. So Rob, you're asking if I've seen the sea treaders. Have you ever seen them? Cause like, I know they only exist in like certain areas. They're not like as common as like a biter or something. A thousand zombies are on their way from the host by the plumbing adventures. Thank you much for that host, buddy. 
Welcome to the stream. How are you, man? I have also collected their poop. Okay, so you have, in fact. Okay, so we're definitely coming up on a wreck. I'm not seeing like a huge structure here. There's a beacon fragment. I'm not seeing anything else I haven't already collected. Okay. Which wreck did we most recently come from? Probably the one closest to home. So I imagine this third wreck is one we have not explored. You're on cloud nine? Is that because you're you have a new toy there, plumber? I just got water all over my armrest. Smooth. All right, there's definitely signs of a wreck that we've visited here. Yep. So you can't pick up or scan these forklifts, but you can use the grav trap or the repulsion gun to pick them up. If I really wanted to, I could march it all the way back. The new iPhone 12. Ooh, very cool, man. I don't know what any of the differences are between all of these phones, but if you're happy, then I'm happy. Ooh, is this a massive hole? Because we want magnetite, and if it's down here, I think this is where we want to go. Oh, girl. Or is this just a really deep cave? So they just literally just copied your stuff over, like, nothing happened. That's amazing. I do love that about, like, backups and stuff. Okay. Ooh. Okay, there's definitely something that I could pick up here, PDA. There's multiple PDAs here. Okay. We are going to for the, to that camera. We're going right to that camera. I'm going to... I guess it doesn't even matter if I sleep. And it's red. Iron Man red. I mean, the case is probably different, right? So, like, it's not even like you could transfer a case over, but the cases are, are affordable. Bro, where's that camera? How did I lose that camera? I know, like, I'm... It's down below... There it is. So, like, I know it's down below me, but, like, it had to get there somehow. Yeah, I need magnetite bad, because, like... It's literally used for, like, every upgrade. It's used for every weapon. Like, I can't even defend myself from... Leviathan-class creatures without it. It's got red and gold case on the way. You've oh, you've already ordered stuff. I don't know why I'm uh, surprised by that. Okay, I have found the hole. Sounds terrible out of context. We going. And there is a sand shark who's being a derp. He did. Okay, we can't fit through that hole. Okay, um, this is gonna be a big leap. This is gonna be a big leap. Oh boy, there's those worms. Well, good news is this isn't even close to our crushing depth. I just made pink smoke. There are very scary worms around. I'm not seeing signs of Leviathan class peeps. Thermal plant fragment? I think we need this. I think this is the last thing we need to have, like, thermal... All the energy we want. No, we need one more. Oh, My hopes are so high. Moon pool! <gasps> we need moon pool fragments. Um, there's a biter down here. Yes! Oh my god, game changer! We have to worry about... Dead, um... What do you call it? Dead, um... Prawn suits and moon pools. Oh my god. Nuclear reactor fragment? I'm less interested in that, but... We'll scan it. Okay, so... I guess we have never had any of those, but... I don't plan on using them ever, so... I'm hearing some real spoopy noises. 
modification station we already have. Oh god. It's just those worms making those terrible sounds, right? Ooh, there's a PDA in this tunnel. Is this shale? Gold. We, we got a ton of gold. We don't need your stinking gold. What do we got? Stasis rifle. Yep. Nothing of value. Basically just free titanium. Okay, well we have the extended um, oxygen tank and our lovely... There's some spooky sounds. Um, and our lovely... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. And our lovely prawn suit's right there, so I'm not worried of us running out of air. I am worried about me killing myself on these tentacles. What is this? Water filtration system! Oh my gosh, we have free water and have to eat melons all day? And we'll have all the energy we want if we can get the thermal thing built. Come on, baby, scan. Anything else in here scannable? I don't want to touch those vines because they kick your butt. Ooh, PDA. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, we got a new signal location. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, let's oop, let's go right. Can we go up. We can go up. We can go up. Oculus. Please scan. I'm just going to pick you up. Stalker teeth. Okay. Uh, anything else over here of value? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a whole other room in here. We're still about a quarter of the way through our oxygen reserve, so no need to panic yet. No, don't get too close to those things. Okay. Anything else in, of value in here before I leave? Okay. We got those grow wall things are just decorative. We already went up. Okay. I'm not seeing anything else of value here, so we're gonna attempt to get back in that prawn suit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, I'm taking a drink of water for that. Well. Um I'm going to scoop up our camera then, because that served a nice purpose for us. And we're going to explore for some rare metals. And just hopefully I don't run into some really big baddies. Diamond, I don't think we need you. Ugh. Well... We're looking for magnetite and lead. We don't need lithium. We don't need lithium. Oh, magnetite. Oh my God, I can make a stasis rifle. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. We can make a stasis rifle and I won't be afraid of big baddies anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just need a bunch more of that. This looks like a lithium deposit. Yep. It's like a magnetite deposit. Oh, I don't have the drill arms. That stinks. I don't have the drill arms. If I could have the drill arms, we'd have all the magnetite in the world. Okay, at least we know that it's down here, right? That's a great sign. We can just keep looking around. More magnetite? That's so much magnetite. Man. Ooh, more. Yes. Well, we're gonna keep exploring and seeing what we can find that's kind of like just chilling on the ground. Because a lot of this stuff is going to be used for the upgrades. Man, if I can't get out of here... Like, with just jumping... Don't need gold. Leaving you there. Magnetite, yes! I don't care if there's... I have to pick these all up, but like, a hundred of them manually. That was some more shale, which would probably be gold or diamond. Magnetite, yes, baby! I 
I think I see more. Oh my gosh, this is turning to be such a good find. Holy smokes. If we can find those drill arms, like we'll know exactly where to come for Magnetite in the future. Finding the drill arms is the trick, though. More Magnetite? Yes, baby. Pick that up, please. Um, Is this a hole? More like a ravine. Let's go down into the ravine. More Magnetite that we can't actually pick up, which is fine. Is that another habitat over there? That totally is. It might just be a small one though. We're gonna go investigate. I'm still not seeing, these worms are dangerous. I'm still not seeing anything like Leviathan level creature, so I'm very grateful for that. All right, is this just decoration or is there stuff in here to be scanned? This is just decoration, okay. Ooh, that's a cool fish there. That looks like another habitat over there. I might be going crazy. We're gonna try getting there. That might be another habitat. Oh, I should have marked my, kept that camera there so I know how to get out. I got a general idea. I and mean, we're only 200 meters down. That's totally, it's not a big habitat. There's like a, just a tube and a hatch. But there could be some value in there. See more lights that way. We're gonna keep exploring. Ooh, a thingy. Can I open that with the, the prawn suit? That's a negative there, Ghost Rider. Well, let's go inside. And there is nothing in here. And nothing in here. Okay, what about this guy? That's a medical kit. I don't actually need you. Thanks, though. So I think this is where I saw those lights? Yes. Well, we're gonna go that way, and hopefully there's more magnetite. There's potentially a sound I didn't recognize. What's this black thing? There's like a black cube. Can I stand on it? Nope. Okay, that's a glitch. Magnetite. Yes, baby. We couldn't find any all stream yesterday, and we just found <laughs> an absolute ton down here, but I guess that's what happens when you just assume it's at one spot. I assumed it, like, I knew it was, like, deep underwater, right? That's why we took the prawn suit out in the first place. Can I pick up this PDA with the prawn suit? Nope. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, nice. We just got another signal location. The habitat. New PDA data. And it's... 500 meters down. I could potentially go to that. Because this, this suit depth, or the depth in this prawn suit's 900 meters. Yeah, let's get a little bit of high ground to see what we can find. See what we can say. That looks like a whole bunch of nothing over there. That the gassy habitat. We got proposed the gassy habitat and proposed the gassy habitat. How many meters is that one? 250? Let's check them out. At least we know if we do want to get out of here, the general direction is over towards like the sea moth. And I'm sure if I just look up, I'll see like a giant gaping hole in the ceiling. So there's one habitat over there. The other one's over there. Okay, so we're going this way.
At least I think. Is there lava down here? There is. Oh my gosh. So there's one that's 250 meters down. And there's one that's 500 meters down. We can get to both. Okay, I just have to not fall in lava. Falling in lava would be... A bad time. How the heck do I get down to the one that's supposed to be like 500 meters down? Oh, that looks a big ravine. I actually just crossed over. Is this the one I just like left? Am I being, am I being tricketed? Was I, did I find these data pads after I explored them? That's like what's funny. Like the game has like a linear progression, right? Where like it, it kind of tells you where you should explore. But then it has like these things that happen where if you find stuff on accident. Okay, I think this was the one I've already found. Oh, I'm like, I'm hearing some weird. Proposed Degasi habitat. I can't tell if there's anything beyond those mushrooms. Oh, that scared me. Oh, there. Okay, is this the one I I explored already? I'm ninety nine percent sure this this was it. Yeah, because that modification station right there. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, they did just sort of take us out of here for nowhere. But can I potentially put that location back on the? Okay. Yep, okay, so I can use this as like a gauge of how to, to get the heck out. So if we were to go for the one that's at 500 meters, where are you? 500 meters is that way. Okay. Is there a good way to get deeper? Ooh, I'm already at 63% health, or not health, uh, battery. And that makes me a little bit nervous here. I wonder if me trying to go underwater here is the best way. Like, what if I just go back to the surface and then just drop in on it? Hmm. Well, if it is down, we definitely want to go left at some point. Ow. Uh. Silly worm. I'm just passing through. Don't tread on me, snake. Fluid Seek fluid intake. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should probably drink water. The trick is if we're already at the point where I'm thirsty, that's probably a good sign to like head home. Assume. Oh, that's negative seven H two O. Don't do that. Pretty sure you have to go up and out of that area and enter a different way to go to the other base. I think you're right, because, like, as I'm walking, this looks like it's totally enclosed. So you might be right, uh, Rob. It's a graboid! <laughs> it hunts with its eyes. It hunts with its ears. And it's like, I can drop down here, but then there's just, like, a wall. And even dropping down further only gets me to these lava platform, so... Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we want to go with, in from the surface. So that's, that's what we'll do. We will have to do that, and that's fine, because we got a bunch of stuff on us, and we can upgrade a bunch of stuff. We'll come back when we're good and ready, and not in danger of being thirsty. And also, this prompt is only like 50% charge, and I do not want to be down here when it's at zero. So we'll head back to the proposed site, disable its beacon, and then go to the surface. Oh, I forgot to tell you that 
that was disappointed in myself and felt dumb. I don't understand, Lone Wolf. What was... What's the context? Why did you... Why are you disappointing yourself and feel dumb? I completely forgot to learn today that Chester Bank and I have the same birthday. Oh, no way! That's actually awesome. Rachel and I were actually listening to a Lincoln Park radio while having dinner last night. And, like, it was funny, like, I was pointing to him during, like, his screaming solos during, uh, Given Up. It was just stupid. Funny, but stupid. Like, I go... Alright, definitely pissed off a worm somewhere around here. Eh. Who? Is this a blue glowy thing? Is this a PDA? What the heck is this PDA doing here? That was just like a knee-jerk reaction to turn that way and punch because I heard him. Okay, so there's a, a PDA. Please be something good. Marguerite Maria's log. Interesting. She was the um the mercenary that was with the Degasi family. The first part was to say I was disappointed. That's okay, Lone Wolf. You remembered. Better late than never, right? I guess I came in this hole? That sounds terrible out of context. I guess I descended my me giant mechanical robot suit through this entrance. There. I don't know if I can make this jump vertically. I was watching a video of his mom talk about him and Grey Days and she got his birthday tattooed on her left wrist. And you're like, hey, I know that date. Oh boy. Okay, um, is there anything else higher than this that I can jump off of? Maybe. I'll use this to get me up here. This might be like an Olympic level jump here. When you get to that base, go straight up and you'll in, uh, end up pretty close to your pod in the safe shallows. I totally believe that actually. Cause like a lot of the stuff, I'm trying to get my bearings and whether it's like north, south, east or west. And like I look up and sure enough, it's like, it's, it's like right, it's south, like towards the center of the earth. All right, here we go. I can see the surface of the water. The question is whether or not I can get to this little platform. I guess I didn't need to leave this thing hanging. Oop, oop, oop. Did that give it damage? Maybe I'm thinking about this too linearly. Maybe I could should backtrack a little bit. So I feel like you you supposed to you're supposed to find this habit after you find like these little platforms. I'll find another exit. I'll find another exit. And if I have to ooh, and if I have to I'll just see glide out and we'll come back with like the jump upgrade. Ooh, that looks like a uh, higher elevation. There's a good chance like that there's a stair step from that direction. Yeah, we're gonna give that a shot. Oh my gosh, and we're getting rewarded with more magnetite. Can life get better? I submit that it cannot. Oops. Oh my gosh, more magnetite. Well, um, I was hoping for an exit over here. This is definitely just a dead end. That's okay, because the dead end came with its own reward. Where well, I'm gonna have all the magnetite. Oh, there's more magnetite stuff that can be drilled down here. I'm finding more on the ground. Come on, baby. Sometimes picking stuff up with the prawn suit's like trying to catch uh, 
a greased up volleyball while wearing oven mitts. It's just, it's not the same as using your real hands, you know? Holy magnetite, you guys. We're not going hungry for this stuff for a long time. Did my message show up about Chester's mom? Yes, where um, you said she got a tattoo um, of his birth date. And I was like, I pretty much said, I was guessing your reaction. Like, you were probably like, hey, those numbers look familiar. <laughs> okay, so the base is behind me. We're going to go this way in hopes that this is another exit. Are you trying to fight? No. You need to find more magnetite. I'll take it. Okay, so there's some higher elevation stuff up this way, and it looks like the sky opens up a little bit to the left, so we're going to keep pushing this way. I'm pissing off a worm. We're sitting pretty at 43% charge, which isn't great. Okay, I, I see another, like, um, staging platform over here, which means I think there probably is another entrance over here. Because, like, I remember coming down from the opposite way. Because, like, there's a, there's a bunch of these entrances, basically, and it's like, what's down there, you know? Sorry, my connection's being poopy for a stream today, my end. That's okay, man. You're here, and I'm always glad to have you. Whether we're having technical difficulties or things are running smoothly. Okay, we're definitely gaining elevation here. I'm still not 100% on an exit, though. There's those lava pools that we came across earlier. There's that other little mini habitat we came across earlier with a med kit. We are getting thirsty again. We're going to have to... Is that Aqua Tafana? That's the mountains. <laughs> I'm not seeing an exit. This is almost as vibrant as the jellies Nima found and bounced on top of. Same color, too. Okay, that might be a, uh, an exit over here. My PDA says to seek more fluid, and we don't have any more on us. So we might get to a point where this just sea glide immediately out of here. Whoa, there's some lag there. Okay, this looks like a, a, a hole, actually. This looks like a hole. Uh, okay, so we're up here. This looks like too smooth of a place to for me to potentially hop out. There are some, like, undulations here. Okay, I can get footing, I can get footing. This is the hole I found in the past um, that I've used before when I came in here. Gosh, phrasing. We're going to be good. Even if the bronze suit dies, we'll be close to the surface. It must be... Oh, I say it must be nighttime because it's looking pretty dark. We are good. Ooh, I need lead. Oh my gosh. The Sinautica gods are on our side today. I don't know what I did, Sinautica gods, but thank you. Praise be. Well, we made down there and out. We got no damage. We... Loaded up on all kinds of stuff. We got some the blueprints from the moon pool. That was a super successful run. I'm very okay with this. I wonder if you can actually get out of there without having the jump upgrades and the grappling hook. Grappling hook, I can almost guarantee it, especially if you have two, because you can sort of like Spider-Man your way across wall to wall. And I was just shy of um of that lip where I need to get. And if I got to that lip, there's no guarantee I would have made it to the next lip there, Rob. But I I'm willing to guess that if I could get there, it'd probably be pretty close to what I just did, where there's like enough undulations for me to get where I was going. Yeah, I tried. I, I, I definitely tried. I was even trying to jump off of like the pink caps and like the stalagmites that were just nearby it. 
Okay, so I, pissed, I pissed off a crasher, but... I didn't see him crash. Well, there'll be some sulfur over there I, I won't end up getting to see. That reef back looks super close to my home. That's okay. <laughs> like the steering cow. It's, it's definitely tough because there are times where like it gets caught on a whole bunch of nothingness. All right, fluid intake. Um, what do I need for... I mean, first things first, I should definitely eat some of these fruits. Lurk away, plumber. Lurk away, man. Yeah, my prawn suit definitely stubbed its toe, toes on stuff on the regular. Okay, so we got some stuff done here. Um... Let's pick a bunch of these guys and eat them. Feed, feed. Thank you for the lurk there, plumber. Okay. Um, we're going to deconstruct this. And what do I need to build that water filtration thing? Because that's actually awesome. Copper wire and aerogel. Ooh, aerogel requires ruby. Have I found ruby? Sure did. Sure did. So then let's get some of our... These guys. Boop. Boop. Hey. Hey. Any... Another thing to try, when you are in the Cyclops, you can honk the horn and it matches the act. The, it's like a mating call to the reef backs. So I've honked the horn before and it's very like, Ooh. I didn't realize it was a reef back mating call. Does that mean it attracts them? I don't know if I'd want to trap a re attract a reef back. Okay, so which way is the volcanic thing? Okay. I need to make that aerogel and the copper wire. Derp. Copper wire involves copper. And we need ruby. Aerogel, we got it. Yeah, this world that I'm in doesn't currently have a cyclops. I just got the parts to make a moon bay. Um, but it's definitely on the, the wish list here. Okay, we're going to build the water filtration thingy right here. Is it... The other stuff's too close. Fine. We're going to build it... We're going to build it right here. Oh, I got to deconstruct the glass. Oops. There we go, baby. I know this is going to kill our power consumption, but if I can get the thermal thing up and running, it won't matter. Glass. Okay, now our structural integrity is at zero, so... And we're not going to build anything else for a minute. The reef bug will come up, rub against you like a drunk dude at a bar. That's amazing. I'm going to tell Rachel that. That is amazing. Because, like, I've been honking just, like, exploring hardcore, I would have never thought to like, kind of honk it and like, hang out or honk it near one of those guys. I need to take this to plant it? Nope. Um... That's weird. Why won't it let me plant that? Is my inventory too full? Nope. Okay, I just... Oh, is it... Maybe it's because I'm using the, the cooking knife. Yep, this knife is too powerful. Okay. Um... Well, how do I make a normal knife? Tools. A regular old knife. It's just made of silicone rubber and titanium. I feel like we have silicone rubber. 
Sure do. We're gonna make an old school knife and just kind of put it into storage somewhere. <laughs> Oops, I was cooking the seeds. That's a bad time. Okay, or they just don't want to give me these things. Any luck? Oh yeah, and I got a whole bunch of uh, magnetite. So Rob was saying that, you know like how the Cyclops has a horn? Yeah. Well apparently it mimics the, like a mating call for the reef back. And so if- I thought it's like it kind of- Yeah, because it's like, like a, a ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so if you do that, the reef backs like come and rub against the Cyclops like a drunk dude at a bar. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Switch container. Okay, that's weird. It wouldn't let me plant those a second ago. Alright, well, I made a, a knife for nothing. It wouldn't let me plant it a second ago. It's all good. We got plenty of food and plenty of water down here now. So, I'm very okay with that. And this will give us salt, too. Okay, well, we might as well go put this knife away because we'll never need it. Nope, we want this one. That's gonna save us from baddies. Um, let's go drop this camera outside our base so we could potentially recharge it. Drop, perfect. Um, our energy is going, is teetering here. I don't have the, the finished parts for the thermal plant, do I? Nope, one of two. Man, I mean, I guess I could try looking up where more parts are. I thought for sure we'd find them down there. So if we can get that, oh my gosh, this place and have so much energy, it won't be funny. Tell you what, let's get some titanium. Or we have titanium. Nope. Some copper. One, two, three, four. And we need quartz. One, two, three, four. Okay, anything else to build solar panels? Nope, that's it. Let's build a couple more of these bad boys here. Blug says, hello, by the way, in the best that she can with a mouthful of sushi. Ooh, did you guys order from, from Shinto's today? Is that why you were looking at the menu? Tell, tell her I also say hello back. The phone is loud. Is that a good loud or a bad loud, plumber? Oh, Jen, hello, welcome to the stream. Happy Tuesday. Jen, did you delete your uh, Instagram? Cause like I tagged you in um, my story this morning. I've tagged you in other stories in the past too. And it let me do it, but your profile just said like unavailable, um, which was weird. So it's, oh, so it's a good loud. There you go, plumber. I mean, I guess it depends what you're doing. There are times I'll be like scrolling through something and then a super loud commercial comes on. And I'm like, well, that was annoying. Um, but if you're trying to like watch something and being loud is, is great. Now Sam's Club sushi. Today I learned that Sam's Club has sushi. I know like most grocery stores do, but would have never guessed Sam's Club. I'll do my best to intimidate your voice, Shun the Dead. Shun! That's funny. So it is back up. Oh, was, am I crazy thinking that it was deleted? I don't know. I'm getting real OCD here. You know, let's just stick to four directions. I got lots of roofs here. And I probably won't even need these once, um, once we get that thermal. I'm just trying to make our base not go um, mission dark when we're trying to survive. <laughs> I'm getting a real OCD here. I know. Like this fictional base that's technically temporary is, I'm making it like extra perfect.
I know. The goal is to make it pretty. So we got four on that one. Let's start with one on this one. We'll do another one on this one. So now we'll have... Because we had four, so now we'll have six. So that'll be... That'll be real nice. And I need two more titanium. Now I think I'd have run out of titanium. We have 370 potential energy in our, our base, which is great. One, two, three, four. Okay. We'll call that a day once this one's finished. And the sun just set. Oh, no, I don't want to deconstruct it. I wanted to actually construct it. Oops. I'm dumb. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. Okay. What's our energy at now here? 450. I'll take that all day. Um, let's put back this ruby. Do I have one of these guys? I do. We'll leave him there for now. Put away this copper. Let's see what we need for a moon pool, because that's going to be a thing. I also kind of want to deconstruct my scanning room and put it to the center. Ooh, this thing's detected more Rex. Oh, it's detected like Rex straight down. Oh, man. Oh. For a second, the, the image was still that of like deep when we picked it up last. Ah, moon pool, moon pool. Moon pool. A moon pool? Come on. Consists of two titanium ingots, two lead, and one lubricant. I know we just got two, two lead. Oh, it's all in the trunk of the prawn. Open storage. There we go. Oh, I don't have two lead, unless there's one already chilling inside the base. I'm about to have the scanner room scan for lead. Or sandstone. Do we have any lead? That is a negative ghost rider. We cannot build the moon pool. That's okay. We'll build some other stuff in the meantime. Um, let's slap. That's crystal stuff. These are like the rare earth stuffs. Okay. How do I build that heads up display chip for the scanner room? Because that's going to help us tremendously. Computer chip and magnetite. Do we have a computer chip just hanging out by chance? Come on. This locker is being glitchy. We do not have a computer chip, but we've got um, we need silver ore. How do you make a computer chip? A computer chip is made from table coral gold and copper wire. We already have the copper wire. We have the table coral. We just need a piece of gold. Wrong one. Silver and gold is right here. There we go. We're about to make this thing. Computer chip, yes. Oh, I don't have the magnetite. It's in a locker. Like a dummy. Did 
This is gonna be a game changer. We'll be able to see where things are that the scanner room finds. All right, well, we got it built. Um, look, we can actually, do you see, like, we can see where the wrecks are? That's amazing. So next thing that we're gonna look for, let's look for, is lead on the list? We're gonna force it to look for lead by literally throwing some outside of our house. Oh, it's still on our inventory. We're gonna just safely put it right here. Drop. I love that topography room. Oh man, the scanner room, it's insane. I'm going the wrong way. You can like set the range to it really far. Like there are four upgrade slots for it, like right here. And you can set all four upgrade slots to range. So like it goes from like just searching like 500 meters to like I think it was like to, to like a 900. Yeah, like you can really see like the, that this whole place is just like a giant cliff. Right there is the volcanic thing that the base is basically built on. Do you see it? The, like that giant crater there? Yeah, you can even see that there's like a miniature little tunnel system off of it. And yeah, this thing is awesome. Okay, so now that we've swam by some lead, technically. Haha, <laughs> we can tell it to look for lead. So watch it slowly start to populate with um, yellow dots. And that's the one I threw. I don't mind just going to find a lot of lead unless we've broken shale stone and then just like ignored it. I should probably tell it to scan for sandstone instead. So I might as well go pick this lead up. up the lead. What else do we have on us that I don't necessarily need? We have some batteries that are potentially in need of a charge, so let's assign everything that's battery operated. You. Oh, it's 100% battery, okay. You. Swap. You. Exit. You. Swap. You. Exit. Zero percent equip, forty-three percent equip, fifty percent equip, thirty-nine percent equip. Okay. Fully charged. Fully charged. Fully charged. Fully charged. Anything else that runs on batteries I didn't get to? Oh, the scanner gun. Do we have another battery that we're not using? That's negative, Ghost Rider. All right, we'll get the scanner gun next. Any lead? Nope. All right, well, we're going to cancel that scan, and we're going to go for sandstone. Perfect. Do your thing, machine. Up. Oh. <laughs> we just ruined our power. We're charging batteries. We're running the um, water thing. We are running the scan room. All right, well, once the sun comes up, it'll get better. So tell you what, we're going to sleep. So it's nice about adding that bed. You gonna come join us? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Was that cucumber? Lovely. Okay, so good news is we're at 450 power out of 450 and it's slowly draining. Our batteries will are mostly charged now. Let me steal one of these guys. Where's the scanner gun? Swap out its battery. And then I'll put the slightly dead one in here. It'll be nice and charged next time we come back. Holy sandstone. Yeah, we got a lot. Um, we're gonna go and pick up a bunch of it and hopefully it's all lead. Do you know what? If it's not lead, we're gonna ignore it. Remember that outcropping or that like little tunnel I saw? Silver ore, boo. Where's our sea glide? Make some moves. 
Oh, these guys look way closer. We're gonna go here. Gosh, it's so cool. Lead. Lovely. What a lovely day. Don't need the gold. Lead. Is this one like, oh, whoa, okay, I'm like, uh, what? I don't think we need the silver. I'm pretty sure we're pretty full up on silver and gold. And it's not gonna hurt anyone just chilling at the bottom of the ocean. So like, the scanner takes time to work. So the entire time like we're out here looking for, ooh, that was original. The whole time we're out here looking for, eh. Right here looking for lead, it's finding more and more. Which is pretty awesome. So, yes, Lone Wolf, you dig in that topography room. It's a good call. It's a good thing to like. Sweet, we got two Reginalds. Ooh, this is a thousand percent that entrance that I've taken in the past. Or maybe that we just took recently. To get down to the Degasi habitat. Yeah, that's the one 250. Yep, that was the the one we saw. Well, that's limestone. Gold bye. Lead, yes. Lead, yes. That's a angry widow stand shock. Budget. I'll pick up one silver and one gold just in case. If we're out, I can't be like, well, I ignored all of them. And like I said, they will always be here on the ocean floor. So if I need to figure out where they are next, I can always let that go. Oh my gosh, we have all the lead. This is awesome. How much do we have on us? Not that much, actually. And we're going to need more, too, if we want to increase our structural stability, because you need to build, like, those platforms. So, yeah, lead's, lead's very important. Okay, so there's more lead at home. Oh, man, I'm, like, literally leaving stuff, because, like, it's discovering it after we're driving off. It's fine. We can always scan for it again another time if we really need more sandstone bits. There. We got one silver, one gold. So we, we added to our whole stockpile. Ooh. Hopefully there's no crash fish in here. Lead, yes. Nope. 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 What is that? Oh, it's limestone. We don't need no stinking limestone. The scanner room is still finding more stuff around us. I'm very okay with that. How do I get to you? Probably right through here. We're just bringing up all the sandstone today. We're gonna need lead or not need a lead for a very long time. Is there sulfur here? Yes, okay. Don't have to deal with crash fish to get that one. We must have flown by and pissed him off and he already kind of blew his load a little bit.
I don't know why I just picked it up. Ooh, we're using a repulsor cannon on this guy. Bye. Free exit. Okay, any more over here? Nope, we're gonna swing over to this side. And we're gonna lap up, wrap up these last four, and we're gonna call that the conclusion of this lead excursion. I'm glad I built the bed because it was hard for any like anything to be seen at nighttime. And exploring in the dark when there are things that want to eat you. It's a bad time. Dolphin dive. Oh, I didn't even get like all of my oxygen. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, this is great. Like we, we're cleaning the house here. That scanner room upgrade was like so necessary. This is gonna end up being like a really good stream because, or like a really good playthrough today. Just because we're got the moon pool, like we're gonna build that. We're gonna charge our sea moth and our prawn suit again. Like things are good. Is there more stuff inside this fire? Here, hell! I need you to erupt so I can swing past you. Okay, done. You done? Done? You done? You done? Okay, you're done now. Oh my gosh! Look at all these. These cooked peepers. They are cooked. Oh, they're rotten. They've been down here for a minute. That's why you enter the night with one eye open. Yes, sleep with one eye open. Alright. Well, we cleared out that pit. Unless there's more inside there that I missed. I, how do I miss that? Is it on the ceiling? Oh god, yep. Oh, there's like another little cove up here. And it was lead too. Wow, this full of, it's just full of cooked peepers. Did you guys see that? That is just absolutely full of cooked peepers. So these poor little dudes are swimming over and just getting roasted and falling to their deaths. That's amazing. I wonder if there's like a way to like harvest that somehow. Oh man, okay, there are two more that the scanner picked up without an upgrade. We're gonna go scoop those up and go from there. That is absolutely hilarious. I've never seen so many peepers before. That is, that is darn good. All right, so we're a little thirsty, but we're not far from home, so I'm not real worried about it. Quartz is always good to have. Well, we're like just over here. We're doing laps all day. We're picking up everything at this point. I'm not being picky. Like, you gotta spawn. There we go. That is all of them. Holy smokes, that was an adventure. Well, I'm gonna get this stuff home, unload, organize, and eat some food and stuff. Um, we've been streaming for a full hour, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick second to run a commercial break and just show a miracle story which explains how the funds we raise here through Extra Life make a huge difference for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Don't go anywhere, we will be right back. When he was born, they had to airlift him to the IWK. I found out that they didn't think he was even going to make the flight. And they uh, then identified that he probably had what's called spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia congenita. When I got to the IWK, I stayed right beside him the whole time. And you start thinking about all the little things you're going to miss. The thought of never being able to hold his hand and walk across the street, uh, never taking him to the duck pond, never taking him the first day of school. We brought in a cake and gave all the nurses cake and brought presents every month. 
and I said I was going to celebrate every month that I had them. How could this guy that was so sick have come up to be such a vital, active, bright young guy? Spencer was in the neonatal unit at the hospital when I first saw him, and they'd asked me to see him about a cleft of his palate, which had been a minor problem that they'd noticed compared to some of the problems that Spencer had had. Spencer's condition is a rather complex one. He has a congenital, he's born with a condition where his long bones uh, aren't growing. The type of dwarfism he has is associated with um, some instability of his neck, that his neck can move back and forth further. The treatment for this requires a surgical intervention, and neurosurgeons are typically uh, the prime movers in this case, and the orthopedic surgeon take bone and support the area, so you basically fuse or stiffen that upper area of the spine. You used to like stickers, didn't you? Mm. Huh? Do you want some for old time's sake? Or are you too big now? No, sure. Oh, okay, good. For old time's sake. For old time's sake, mm -hmm. excellent. <laughs> I treat him just like a normal friend, and he treats me like a normal one. It's it's really great. There's some perks to it, you know, like the elevator and stuff. All right, so we haven't got any more. <laughs> uh, I've got a buddy over here. We all. He's a good friend of all of our Spencer McKay, right? Hey, Spencer. But this is what's new with Spencer. Let's show everybody at home there. Let's. Uh, that is what's new with Spencer. Look. Look at that. Holy Hannah. You always want to provide excellent care for children like Spencer. They've already been through so much. If you read over his history and you know what he's been through, in his case, we did have to take him to the operating room a few times to do treatment for him. You've got neurosurgery, but then that would knock off one. We've got six doctor's appointments next week. So. Wow, that's a busy day. It's a privilege for me, and it's an inspiration for me to meet these families who just can go through everything they've gone through and still be smiling and positive and happy at the end of the day. In the Maritimes, we are the, the regional center and we have all the specialists here. Uh, it hasn't always been the IWK. Initially, it was the Halifax Children's Hospital when it was first opened. And it's been the only pediatric hospital uh, east of Montreal in Canada since uh, forever. Before I had a sick child, I didn't realize the importance of a hospital for kids. It doesn't hit home to you until you've actually had a child who's had to stay there. Spencer was in there for almost two years, and I lived in that hospital, and I became family. I became, you know, just a part of the fixture. I certainly would love to say, without a doubt, that I appreciate from my total heart the IWK and the Children's Miracle Network. This is the biggest eye-opener to me of how important these organizations are, and how much they do for the families as well as the sick children. He's very good for uh, people in the waiting room. When they see Spencer and seeing uh, his engagement with them and his attitude, a lot of people will come in thinking they have serious problems and say, man, I saw that guy out there and I really don't think I should be here. Humor makes us laugh. Humor brings us up. Humor is why we're still happy, you know? If we just sat around and thought about all the sad things and never laughed, then what do you think we would be now? Depressed. So he has a way of disarming them and, uh, and putting in perspective uh, some of the conditions that we see.
boy, that transition absolutely chugged. I was like, just watching watch those bats just glitch. Welcome back, you guys. Uh, after watching that brief little miracle story, um, little break here, we're gonna get right back to the gameplay. Um, we're gonna build all kinds of fun stuff here, so let's do that. So the next thing on my list is a stasis rifle. And a stasis rifle isn't like a gun as much. Why can I not build a wiring kit? Did I not grab the copper? It's not quite like a gun, um, but it is, right? So like, it's not like an offensive thing, it's more of a defensive thing. So you shoot things with it and it just holds perfectly still. For the kids is right, Lone Wolf. Shout out to you, buddy. All right, so we're making a computer chip and now we can make the stasis rifle. Ah, uh, and this is like one of the only things that can protect you from Leviathan class creatures. Heck yes, okay. Um, let me go down the sort of mental list here. So we were just out running and collecting like silver and gold and stuff. I'm said I'm good. We're, we're very good. And hijacked a tame Star Wall. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. Thanks, Stella. I think she said that because we built a gun and like you're gonna use this to defend yourself, basically. Okay. Um, looking through the list of just general things. I definitely want to hit the modification station because that's gonna like upgrade our stuff. I wonder why the bats are acting so odd today. I'm not sure. It could be like a CPU thing. I don't know. Every day is an adventure with streaming. Um, we already have the ultra high capacity thing. We don't have a Cyclops, so we don't need that. Ooh. I want the parts for the thermal plant, but that can wait. Um, we've already got the mod modification station. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna, let's build the, son of a gun. Let's check in the, the modification station and see what we can get. We already have the survival knife. We have the air tank. Fin upgrades. That's scary spiders that want to steal their kidneys. <laughs> yes, yes it is. So we can have ultra glide fins. Do we just have regular fins now? Nope, we've got the, we got the ultra glide fins, so we don't need those. The propulsion cannon, we can make the repulsion cannon, which is again a defense thing, and we can use like pick stuff up sort of. It's a little bit different. Um, fudge it, let's do it, because it can protect us from big baddies. Like if something's swimming at you, you just got boom, it kind of pushes it away. So we need a computer chip and magnetite. We're already using a bunch of stuff. One, two magnetite. A computer chip, we need gold. We need a wiring kit, which is two copper. And we need two table coral. So let's build computer chip, copper wire, and then computer chip. Yep. Good. And then we just go to the modification station and we can turn our repulsion cannon, our propulsion cannon to a repulsion cannon. Good, good, good. Okay. Habitat Builder. Where are you at? Anything in here I haven't seen besides the moon pool. Alright, I think we gotta build a moon pool next, y'all. Um, we are real low on titanium. Oh, but it's actually calling for ingots. So let's get two ingots, lubricant and lead. Do we have a lubricant in here? We do not. Okay, I think that's it, right? Moon pool. Oh, lubricant. Derp. Let's go get some lubricant. Looking for glowy bits. There they are. I think we need two. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab two. One. Two. And if we have to grab three and have to make another trip, I'll be real annoyed. Oh, hey, titanium. 
Why is it just like rolling away? That's weird. Oh, Jen, thank you much for those biddies. I didn't even hear the notification. I'm gonna make it play again. Hold on. There it goes. I heard that one. You will need more power to, ooh, I will probably need more power for the moon room. Um, I can always build more of those solar panels. They're like not super effective. And with this geyser here, I want Celebratory bits, bits, yes. Did you finish your workout again, Jen? No, pl uh, Lone Wolf, I could absolutely spam the, the sin of the roof. If I want to, if I know the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, right? I make them all face either east or west. Right now I have them like facing in all four directions. Get it, Jen. No, I, I got my exercise in today as well, too. Feels good. I honestly don't know if the sun rises in the east and sets in the west in this world. Because it could be more on an alien planet set anyway at once. If I'm facing north right now, it does look like it's setting to the west a little bit. I'm not going to sit here and watch it. Once it gets to the sunset, we'll we'll look. But you're right, um, Lone Wolf. We're, we're flirting dangerously as it is with our energy consumption. Tell you what. Let's scoop up this titanium that we know is just floating around. And then we'll shut down the scanner room. And... We're going on an adventure. We're going to go on an, uh, We'll build the moon pool and then we'll go on an adventure. Because I want a full charge if we're going out. We're, we're running dangerously low here. Oh man. Will my repulsion cannon actually do anything with this? Where's my repulsion cannon? I might have to put... Um, what do you call it? Those sticker guys on us. Why can I not... There we go. Yep, okay. Wow, there are... These guys are both blocked. Are there suction cup boys around here? See, if I didn't upgrade this, I could have picked it up and, like, thrown it. But this is more of, like, a... You know... <laughs> this is more of a yeeting tool. If I can get underneath them, I'll, I'll yeet that out. Actually, I'm sure there's a way to get underneath them. Where is my ski -doo? I knew there was m more to life than me than just being really good looking. <laughs> Thanks, Derek Zoolander. Okay, so if I was like a little cave entrance to that spot, would that be, be exclusive to that spot? Or like that's the only way to get in? Or that's just an additional exit? It's looking like it's, like, it's an additional exit here. Well, there's the titanium, which means... There's those rocks. Let me try eating them from underneath. <laughs> uh, yeet. All right, let me eat them a little sideways. Uh, there's one. I don't know where you're going, but I really don't care. That is hilarious. So yeah, the, the grav trap was used to like, pick things up and push them. Or that the grav trap. The, the other sort of repulsion gun. No way, did this one land on the other one? That is so funny. To the depths with you! <laughs> uh, that looked like... That looked funny. Okay, and, and alternatively, I could have picked up these little sucker guys and placed those by hand and that thing would have just floated up. All right, let's go get some more titanium and we'll get home and build that moon pool. I know it's going to suck up the energy. We'll we'll make it work. It's a delicate balancing act, but we'll make it work. I feel like this one's really close. Oh, I'm really low on oxygen. I've also never healed up after being in that thermal that was literally roasting me. So, I was poor form on my part. Boy, this 
Titanium's way down. What are you? What are you? Are you value? Scanner room fragment. Free titanium. Is this thing sinking? It is. I'm going to catch it. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, so like if I think those worms go like attack me again, I can use that repulsion cannon and just be like, yeet. Or like a sand shark, because it, it just sent that one stalker absolutely flying. Here, let's try it on this 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 guy. Hey friendo. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, they definitely sent him away from me. Where's the titanium? I could have swore there's titanium over here. Alright, I'm going crazy. I could have swore there's titanium this way. Oh, there is. How to get to it, though, unless it's just sitting right here. Is it deep, 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 deep underwater? Or under the ground? It must be. Well, without going through some type of crazy cave system, we'll likely drown. It can wait. There's enough scrap metal. We'll be fine. I just noticed that we had, like, no titanium. Which is, like, the base material in this game. Okay, so the sun is setting-ish. And it is setting in the southwest. So note to self, the sun does not rise in the east and set in the west in this world. The sun rises in... The northeast and sets in the southwest? Is that right? Southwest, northeast. Yeah. So northeast and southwest. So if I face those things, I'll be a little more efficient. Or face my solar panels in that direction. And like I said, we can build a whole solar panel for days until we get the thermal set up. That moon pool is like a... It's a must. Papa like. Is this that one I just left alone? It just disappeared. Nope. Okay. See, this is what happens. I got distracted by looking at um, the sun. That's funny. Well, this Sea Glide fragment is already down to like 34% battery. What are the odds that this titanium is just like the other one where they're both deep underground somewhere? There's those rocks I yeeted. I mean, it's possible there actually is titanium over here. Yeah, this is this is more likely. There it is, slowly rolling away. Got it. Well, it's nighttime, so it's a good excuse to sleep. We'll build the moon pool in the morning. Tell this thing to stop scanning. We will actually throw the camera away because we no longer need that now that we've got the CPU on us. Bye, camera. You were fun while you lasted. Trash. Okay. We will make some lubricant. Base materials, lubricant, there we go. Apparently one seed makes one whole thing of lubricant, so I made two things of lubricant for no good reason, and that's fine. All right, we're about to do it. We're about to make a moon pool. It's actually not like an ideal location because of, uh, the idea is like come underneath it and eh, the sea moth is small, we'll be fine. Okay, does that in fact connect?
It doesn't show it connecting, but if it doesn't, we can fix it. Okay, did you connect? Yes, you did. Yes! Okay, ooh. Okay, we need to reinforce. Force. Uh, we need lead. We need to reinforce weak parts. Right, meow. We're in the negatives. Uh, we're, we're in the negatives. We're in the negatives. Okay, what hasn't been enforced, reinforced yet? Okay, we're in the negative threes. We're in the negative ones. We still need more support. Oh my god. Oh, uh, are we taking water? Oh, we're taking water, y'all. Oh my god. We're taking water. <laughs> Isn't that good? Uh, can we put anything under the scanner room? That's a negative Ghost Rider. We can't put anything underneath the moon pool. What the heck are we supposed to do? Like, does this help me just slapping it over here for no good reason? I mean, like, there's nothing on it. It's just like a decoration, basically. I need two lead. I should eat something. Ugh! Our, ho our house is full of, full of water. Okay, hull strength is at three now. We're in the positives. Well, I'm gonna need to bust out the repair tool, but first I guess I gotta eat. I should probably heal up too. Come on. There we go. Food. Let's get food. All right, we're solid at the food thing, but the whole base is still underwater. So that's a that's a bad time. Any other leaks down here? That's a negative. Leaks in this room. Sure are. Okay, let's check the bedroom. Oh, is this a leak? Yes. Our water... <laughs> there's water in our bedroom. We have a water bed now. Any other leaks? Wow! That was... I had a feeling that might happen. And it did. I had a feeling. Okay. Did the moon pool leak since... Yup, moon pool leaked even though it was brand new. I broke it, you guys. I broke it. Okay. That's crazy. Like, because of the moon pool, my house is just part of the ocean. Like, there's just water all up in it. Like, you can just... Fish can come and go as they please. It is all just... A big old mess. Yep, scanner room's got Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Okay, everything's fine. Oxygen. Oh yeah, breathing's important. 
I'm gonna just drown in my own home. That'd have been a terrible way to go. And what's funny is like the, the place is already like pumping the water out. So like they would just find my drowned body in totally water free house. Like how does how did that happen? Okay, well that was exciting. Everything's fine. Just gotta let all my stuff dry. Oh, my gym bags just smell terrible. Okay. I am pretty sure this thing was right for me to take water out of it. Yes. Now we got like a awesome thing of water. So the water that this machine makes hydrates you by 50 points, which is a ton. Versus the water that I think we just had like chilling in here. Yeah, this, so it's 50 points what I made versus 30 points that we found. So like what we're making is primo. Plus it gives us salt. Salt is good for like curing fish and other components. Lubricant, we're gonna put chalk that up as scientific. It's for like engines and stuff. I put some titanium away. When I say some, I mean literally one. So we're definitely still in need for titanium. Um, let's go get our stuff and start charging them bad boys up. AKA this sea moth. Yes. So that thing's charging. Let's get it a repair too. So I saw it was only like 80%. Okay, it is good. Is there anything in your trunk, sir? You got junk in your trunk? Empty. It's a perfect murder mystery. Well, how did he die? He drowned. Oh, there's no water in this room. That is the great mystery. All right, we definitely have some stuff that could use some charging here, like our batteries. Our energy's not to so bad. It's definitely floating around 375, you see at the top of the screen. So that's good. It's not going down, it's just staying stagnant. So that's good. Let me swap out the battery on your 29. 144, that's an F. 89. 182. Okay. So what exactly does this moon room do for you? Well, not only does it like dock my content, like my whatever I park in it. Um, so there were these power cells and once they died, I had no way to charge the power cells. It's charging my ship. It does the same thing with the sea moth over there too. Plus there's eventually a point where I can put, um, I can put an upgrade station in here. So like I can make this like any color I want, which is just a cosmetic thing. But like I can give this thing grappling hook arms. I can give like a drill arm to like access those giant deposits of minerals. Um, I can give it torpedoes. It's pretty awesome. Um, you can make it where it charges off like thermal energy. So I can go, like, go down to like a volcano and totally get charged up. And that's the same thing with the, the sea moth too. So it's going to take our stuff that's already pretty great and make it like mint. That sounds like water being done. I'll take it. Thank you. I feel like we run out of water when we're out exploring faster than we run out of food. So I'm going to keep two things of water on us at all times. And now that we're producing our own water, like there's no good reason not to. A repair tool, 100% one. You, 100% one. You, 100% one. And we're gonna go charge these things. So what can you build with a Mr. Robot chicken machine? Uh, you can build a great sitcom with Seth Green. Like what's his name? You know that one from Austin Powers. Okay, so that stuff is charging. Um, there were two things. 
three things that I wanted to put in that room to make it more legit. Namely, some posters. I'm gonna give it like a duffel bag to make it look like a mechanic's office. Or like, you know, it's a habitat of some kind. We're gonna slap one of these guys right here. There we go. Some prawn suit action, baby. Yes. No, no, the evil dude from Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. I wasn't thinking about that. I, thought, I was thinking robot chicken, not robotnik machine. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Boy, this is complex, because, like, my structure is really teetering a line here, and I don't know what I can do besides adding these foundations. And I can't add them, like, underneath the moon pool or the scanner room. If it counts as, like, a structural upgrade, and I'm just adding it to the abyss, then I'm just going to add stuff to the abyss. Okay, what percent charge are you? And also, can I build the upgrade station yet? Do I even have that researched? That's a negative Ghost Rider. There's still a bunch of things we don't have. And that's a shame. Hmm, that's okay. That is okay. Well. Health, 100%. Fully charged. Nice. What we're going to do is we're going to take this thing and... Kind of just give it a little scoot over here. And we're going to park our Seamoth to charge up real nice for us. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Does this thing need repaired? Only slightly. Do you have anything in your storage? That's a negative. Okay, so... We got the moon pool stuff. There's a vehicle upgrade station, but we're gonna go look for that beacon that's at the pr pr proposed Degasi habitat. So that's what the plan is. So let's go eat some foodies. I'm gonna get the stasis rifle ready in case we run into some baddies. Ooh, more water just got became available. Oh, salted. That's so f funny. I've never seen like the salt just chilling there as like blocks of salt. Eat, 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 slice. Yum, yum, yum. Plant, 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 plant. We're fully fed. We got some stuff. Let's go to that station. We're gonna go through the moon pool. Ready? Whip! Perfect dive. So if we're lucky, we will stumble across some goodies for like more shipwrecks or more upgrade parts. That'd be awesome. I'm going to take this metal salvage because we need the titanium. Boy, that, that proposed position is like right underneath us. Oh, look, there's a hole right here. Okay, we might drop right on top of it. Oh, wait, there are two proposed positions. Okay, so yeah, the, the one that we're above is not the one we want. Beacon, proposed position. This dude better not be hurting us. Okay, we, yeah, we want the other one. Yeah, we're at 100% health. Fudge off. This guy thinks he's tough. And we're gonna get over to this one in hopes that we can find this other proposed family spot. Ooh, I don't know why I'm holding my breath. This is like some scary stuff. Like, 
We just keep going deeper and deeper. And things are getting scarier and scarier and every time we go deeper, like there's less of a chance for us to get back to the surface on time, if that makes any sense. Just more and more of a risk is I guess what I'm saying. And we don't have a lot of titanium, so if this is titanium, I'm gonna take it. Hey, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Got it. Yeah, first try. <laughs> okay, so we're already running to bone sharks. So we're ooh, we're in a we're in a biome, all right. Are you kidding me, bone shark? F off. I want to pick up the titanium, please. You're a butt. Okay. Um. Woo, these are really pretty fish. We're going to stick close to the, um... The cliff face, because then we know if anything is out there, it's going to come from a single direction. Do you guys decoration, or do you guys have goodies for me? You guys are decoration. Ooh, crash! <gasps> we might find, like, arm parts in here. And I don't know what this thing is, but I'm going to put it in our um, garden, because we've got all the garden space in the world. Done. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Just some decorative boxes. That, I think, is a scanner room fragment. It's free titanium. We need it. Scanner gun, please. Thank you. Oh, there's a PDA down here. Data box. Cyclops depth module. So we don't have the Cyclops yet, but that'll be wonderful because we can make it go even deeper if we give it that upgrade. Is this a robot arm? It's a drill arm fragment. We can access, oh my gosh, all the resources. I need one more of those. That's going to be a, please tell me, please tell me. Oh my God. That's going to be a, Huge godsend. Oh, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wonderful. Ah. Oh. Yeah, literally anytime we need anything, um, if we just come across one of those like, huge deposits, we can just drill it and fill our inventory and call it a day. Well, this crash looks explorable. Poseidon is always on the side of the Shawns, yes. Ooh. Punkka Jack wants us to exercise the wrists, and considering I'm on my computer all day, might as well. I'm open, tabletop, claw, half fist, fist. Fist open, palm open, tabletop, claw, half fist, fist. There we go. I feel better already. Oh, is it? I think that's the second part of the reactor I need. Bro. Is this a reactor part? This is like the most like stuff we found in a long time. Oh, this is so nice. The, the Poseidon really is looking on us. Welcome back, um, Dosi. How are you? Long time no, no see. I almost called you do Dossier again, like a military debriefing. Dosi, how are you, Dosi? <laughs> I'm good, actually. We're, we were looking for, um, what's it called? Magnetite, like, all stream yesterday, and we didn't find anything. Office chair? Have I found one of those before? Guess not. Um, but everything we've, like, needed, we've found. So, I'm having a really great little playthrough here. Oh, no, we have to call uh, the quits here in a moment. Boo, boo, boo! 
All right, we got more titanium. Well, we're gonna do one of these real quick where we just kind of take this and build it here and then abracadabra. Oh wow, this is all of the arms. This is like arm city. Grappling suit arm. We need that upgrade station. So you found where the fragments of the prawn suit are. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the prawn suit itself are in the Aurora. Um, but the the arms. Oh my gosh. We can be like Spider-Man now. What do you got in the case for us? Nutrient block? Oh, it's always good to have food on the road. Take some more titanium. Wow, that was such good stuff. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're already... Is there another arm over there? It sure is. Oh, and our inventory is full. Okay, well, we're going to put the scrap inside of... Um, Boy, there's more arms up there. Is that the torpedo arm? Bro, is that the torpedo arm? Nope, grappling arm. Okay, boo. Well, we're going to put the metal scrap inside of this storage here. I would save those nutrient blocks for long trips. That's exactly what I do. So I, I save nutrient blocks in like the best water we have. Like we find some good water on the Aurora. That's like better than the bladder fish. But um, it's not, it's not as good as what we can make here. Do you know if Pittsburgh is on lockdown restricting restrictions similar to ours? I don't, Lone Wolf. Um, define our lockdown restrictions. Because other than like curfew, I don't know like what's the, the law here. I feel like businesses have to close down at like 10. And that's all I know. I feel... <sighs> we're 500 meters away, and they're 500 meters down. I feel like our inventory is already full. And if we find like a ton of good stuff down there, it's going to be a waste of a trip. So I'm going to pick up the titanium that we dropped. If I can figure out where all of it is. Yeah, we're low on copper. Um, let me bust out my little flashlight scooter. Oh. Adult refreshment sale. Interesting. Hmm. It's very possible. Um, and I'm sure that situation like changes like almost on the daily too. Here's, here's some titanium. Eh. Yeah, that helps. Is there any more floating titanium around here? Okay. Well, let's slap some... Let's head home. But we're going to also pick up anything we find of interest on the way. Like, whatever the heck sideways part that is. That's probably a scanner room part or something we already have, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, I actually picked it up this time. Ooh, and there's shale. This might be like diamond or something. Gold. Eh, fudge it. Might as well. Because <laughs> we're, we're workout buddies. Am, is my inventory full? My personal inventory is full. He gets his he gets his workouts in while he's uh, punishing me with workouts at the same time. Alright, well my inventory is full. What's the inventory on this guy like? It's still got room. Let's slap a bunch of titanium in there. Perfect. Ooh, the Slim Reaper 11. Popping uh, in over from Killa Kenzie's channel. This game is sick, bro. What is it? Slim Reaper, thank you very much for that follow, man. Um, first off, welcome. Uh, this game is called Subnautica. It's a survival, like, horror game. And I didn't know it was a horror game. And it starts off so simple. It's like, hey, you crash landed on this planet. It's all water. Collect what you can and get out. Oh no! Oh no! Wretch plays games! Oh no! It brought a raiding party. They're coming from all directions. My god, they have billions. Holy smokes. Ah. Uh, I'm I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Welcome raiders. G 
Loki, he says in Dr. X-Men. You're about to end your stream, weren't you? Not yet. I was actually just explaining what this game uh, uh, was, Subnautica was, to the Slim Reaper. Thank you very much for that raid. I gotta go to the raid screen now. If it decides to go. There it goes. Holy smokes, the transition's hitting its life right now, but that's okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and ghouls, ghosts and goblins. My name is Sean Gory, and I'll spare you the gory details. Welcome to the stream. So glad to have you guys here. And uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a variety streamer. I'm an extra lifer, just like to play some games and heal kids. And if you guys are coming from Wretch's Party, you guys already know what it's all about. Let me get my giant head out of the way here, and we'll get back in the gameplay. Um, so yeah, Subnautica it starts like, no pun intended, like an inch deep. Like, oh yeah, collect some stuff and survive. But it gets insane fast. Like, there's conspiracy theories and like crazy, crazy stuff. Brother Kath, you've played Subnautica before? Well, thank you again for that. I gotta give, let me give you a shout out there, Wretch, if it decides to pop up. How did your stream go, man? What were you playing? Tell me more. There's Wretch Plays Games. I had to do a little shout out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I'm trying to think what you were playing last time I saw you playing there, um, Wretch. Geek, Geeky Susan, thank you much for the follow. Welcome to Gory Gang. Hades again, okay. How's that going for you? Um, is it Writer or, yeah, Writer, Writer Kath. Um, they've, they've released like the early access sequel to Subnautica here. It's called Below Zero, and you can play it, but the, it's not finished, right? That being said, it's very close. Like, I want to say we're talking within a matter of, like, weeks. And what's funny is, like, my buddy um, just gifted me this game early early this year, almost like the end of last year. So I've really only been playing this for, like, a couple weeks, and it's, it's insane. Like... When I ask my girlfriend like what she wants to do like after dinner or something or on the weekends, like she doesn't want to watch a movie, she doesn't want to watch a TV show, she just wants to play Subnautica. And we probably put like forty some hours into the game. And it is a blast. It's super immersive, like we've screamed like crazy. There are some super scary monsters that can just swallow you whole in one bite. Um, you get to some pitch black spots, like if you run out of oxygen, you're in trouble, if you run out of food, run out of water. Um, you run out of energy in like your ship, like this little prawn suit, this robot I'm controlling. If it runs out of energy, like I'm stuck just taking the, the, the flipper fin express back home. It's, it's a lot. Six Hades kill and ended the stream at his front door again. Still really enjoying it. Good man, good. There's a developer thing on Xbox where you can press both the bumpers in the menu. Okay, so Dossie, Dossie, someone actually mentioned that to me like early, early when I started streaming this game and I didn't like understand, but you're right. Um, you can open up like console commands and cheats by pressing um, a couple buttons on the console. Writer Keth, thank you very much for that follow. You guys are amazing. I'm so glad you're here. I'll have my nephews play this in creative mode. Oh my gosh, when you can just build whatever you want, like, you can go crazy. You just, you know, get a submarine and explore. Uh, it's, this game is, I, I've seen other people play it. Oh my gosh, and now Writer Cat is dropping some bits. That deserves you a little shout out here. Thank you very much, if the shout out feature wants to work. There's Writer Cat. No, but like, I've seen other people play this game, like Jacksepticeye, um, Markiplier. And like, I saw it, I'm like, okay, it looks fine. This is easily one of like the top 10 games I've ever played. And I've probably even been gaming since like the Nintendo 64 came out. Gotta head out boss, Wretch, I really appreciate you coming in here, dropping a raid, man. I always rain fade too, because by the time I'm hopping off, it's time for bed. I really appreciate it. Happy underwater adventuring. Thank you very much, Wretch. You are the man. Yes, 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 yes. All right, well, we're heading back to the base here, and that's great because we can tell this guy to charge up 
we drop off our stuff, and that's going to be a good place for us to conclude our broadcast. What it, what's crazy to me is that they basically built the story around a build, the building plot mechanic. No, they did, and like you, like you get comfortable with how things are, and then something happens, and you get it, like your options change, right? And then you you incorporate these new changes, and then like things change again. So like, I that's why I said like I thought this game was like an inch thick. Like okay, I got a base. Like, don't starve. I got food. Like it's fine. Nope, it is much more than just surviving. It is much more than that. Ooh, we got more water. There it goes. Okay, I will enter the or. To get rid of our inventory off stream because no one wants to watch me empty my pockets. We're gonna go ahead and save here and go to the outro screen. We're gonna find someone to raid together and call this a night. So, Wretch raided us at a great time because that means we get to turn this into a double raid. Double raid! <laughs> double raid! So, we turn this into a double raid. We're gonna find someone to, um, show some love to here in just a second. Mmm. Mmm. This is always a, a difficult t time for me. We'll, we'll figure it out here, but let's go to the outro screen. We'll be right back. Don't go nowhere, you guys. <laughs> 